Okay, number 16. A car travels in a straight line from A to B at a distance of 12 kilometers, taking 552 seconds. Okay, so let me draw distance from A to B. And total time taken is 552 seconds. It starts from rest. So you will be 0 at A and accelerates for T1 seconds at 0.3 meters per second square, reaching the speed of V. So first part of the journey is, let's say this much, where the time is T1. And the acceleration is 0 0.3. And it reaches a speed of V, capital V, at the end. The car then continues to move at V for T2 seconds. Okay, so it moves at, the speed of V. So that means in this region, the speed is constant. So it moves at a constant speed for T2 seconds. So time for this journey is T2. Okay. The car then continues to move at V for T2 seconds. It then decelerates for T3 at 1 meters per second. So in the third part of the journey, the deceleration is minus 1. Or, sorry, the acceleration is minus 1. And T3 is the time. It comes to rest at B, so the speed is 0 again. U is, or V is 0. Final V is 0 at B. Okay. Sketch the velocity time graph for the motion and express T1 and T3 in terms of V. All right, so we have to draw the velocity time graph. So uh, start from zero. This would be the velocity. In meters per second. And this one, this would be the time. In seconds. First, the speed is zero. Then at time T1. Let's call this T1. Just a second. Okay, at time T1, this velocity is V. It stays at this speed for T2 seconds. So that means this time would be T1 plus T2, the total time. Because this time is from here to here is T2. So the total time would be T1 plus T2. So the time at the end of the first journey is time 1 plus time T2. And then it comes to rest again. So make it drop like this. And this time, the this time is T3. So the total time will be T1 plus T2 plus T3. However, the question says that sketch the velocity time graph for the motion express T1 and T3 in terms of V. So we have to express everything in terms of V. Not in terms of T1, T2 and T3. Alright. So let's see. Uh, T1 is in the first part of the journey, let's look at the first part of the journey. We know the acceleration. We know the U. We need the time. And we also know V, the capital V symbol. So we need to write T1 in terms of V. So what do I know that U is 0, A is 0 0.3, time is T1, and V is just V. So write T1. Sorry, yeah, write T1 in terms of V. So we should write which equation of motion can we use it? V equals U plus AT. So capital V equals U plus AT. So capital V equals 0 plus 0 0.3 T1. So T1 is V upon 0 0.3.
So later I'll replace this T1 with V upon 0 0.3 in the figure. <laughs> okay. Now let's see, can we write T2 in terms of V? Uh, uh, I don't think so. We don't have enough information. Uh, for the third part of the journey, we have U equals capital V. Okay, U, the initial speed is capital V. And the final speed V is zero. And the acceleration is minus one. And we need the expression for T3. So again, use V is equals to U plus AT. V is zero, U is capital V, A is minus one, and T is T3. So V equals T3. Okay. So we should be able to replace this T3 with V and this T1 with uh, V over 0 0.3. Now we need to find T2 in terms of V as well. And we're given in the question that the sum of all these <coughs> times T1 plus T2 plus T3, that is the entire journey time is 552. So T1 plus T2 plus T3 is 552. T1 is V upon 0 0.3. T2 is what we have to find. T3 is V equals 552. So T2 would be 552 minus V over 0 0.3 minus V, which is 552 minus this would be 1.3 V over 0 0.3. Let me simplify this fraction. 1.3 over 0 0.3 would be just 13 over 3. So replace that with 13 over 3. Okay. So this is 13 over 3. So T2 is 552 minus 13 V over 3. Okay. Now let's make the figure again. And instead of T1, T2, and T3, we're going to use expressions in terms of V. So, T, this is V. T1 is V upon 0 0.3. So, write V upon 0 0.3. Okay. Plus T1 plus T2 is this time. So, let's find T1 plus T2. That is going to be V over 0 0.3 plus 552 minus 13 V over 3. Let's simplify this. which gives us 1 by 0.3 minus 13 by 3, which is minus 1. So 552 minus 1. Sorry, minus V. So this part is 552 minus V. And then the total time taken T1 plus T2 plus T3 is 552 seconds given in the question. So this would be 552. So this is the velocity time graph they're actually asking for, where you have to replace the times in terms of t, or you have to write the times in terms of t.
Okay, moving on. Sketch the velocity time graph for the motion and express T1, T3 in terms of V. Okay. So T1 came out to be this. And T3 came out to be this T3. V. T3 was V. We also found T2. Okay. Express the total distance traveled in terms of V and show that 13V square minus 3312V plus 72,000 equals to zero. Okay. So, find area under the graph. Let's do that. And equate it to the total distance. Okay, area would be part two, half times height times sum of parallel sides. Let's call it A plus B. Okay, so it's going to be half times height is B times sum of parallel sides. So the lower parallel side is just 552 plus the upper parallel side is this length, which is T2, if you remember. This was T1, and this distance was T2. I mean, this time was T2. So let's just write T2. If we already have that in terms of V, it's right here. So this is, the other parallel side is time 2, which is 552. Over minus 13 V over 3. And we have to equate it to the distance. How do we find the total distance? Achha, it says it's equals to 12 kilometers. So equate it to 12 kilometers. The total distance is 12 kilometers. Now you cross, multiply, rearrange, and you should be able to get the required quadratic equation shown. Okay. All right, so let's cross, multiply, and all. I'm sending two to the other side. So it becomes 24 and then we have 552 plus 552 is 1104. So it becomes 1104V minus 13V square upon 3. I'm taking LCM, 3. This becomes 3312V minus 13V square equals 24 so we have 3 3 1 2 v minus 13 v square equals 72 Acha, sorry the distance was in kilometers but in si units we use meters so it's come in a thousand media this becomes thousand 12,000 meters because it was meters per second for speed. So the distance must also be in meters. So this becomes 24,000. And that becomes 72,000. Rearrange, you have 13V square minus 3312V three, three, plus 72,000 equals to zero. And this is the quadratic equation we were supposed to show. 13V square minus 3312V plus 72,000. That's correct. It says, hence find the value of V. So simply solve this quadratic equation 
using quadratic formula v equals minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. B comes out to be You get two answers. One is 230.76 and the other one is 24. Okay. Let's check if both the answers are acceptable, which I doubt because V can only be one value. It cannot be two values. So one of these is incorrect. Give me a second. Okay, I'm going to substitute in the given time T1. T1 is V upon 0 0.3. So let's see if we get a, an unrealistic T1 for one of these Vs. So we get T1 equals 230.76 over 0 0.3 or T1 equals 230.76 Sorry, no, the other one was 24. 24 over 0 0.3. So the first one is coming out to be 230.76 divided by 0.3 is 769.2. Or the other one is coming out to be 0 0.3. Uh, 24 divided by 0.3, which is 80. This can't be right, the first one. Time one cannot be 769. The reason for that is that the total time of the entire journey was 522 seconds given at the start of the question. The total time from A to B is 552 seconds. So the time T1, which is the time of the first part of the journey, that cannot be greater than 552. So this is not possible. Reject this one. So you write that with this one, you write answer. For this one, you write not possible as it's bigger than five, what was that again? 552. So even though you got two values of time, sorry, two values of V, you cannot accept, sorry, ye answer nahi hai time. Ye answer hai, V is equals to 24 because that gives a realistic value of time. But unlike the other V, which gives uh, 769.2. I mean, there are negative values, nahi, but... After pass negative or a second equation three thirteen minus three three one two plus three three minus a middle minus three three one two or C hai hamara seventy two thousand. Positive are you? Don't positive are you? Aapne, uh, me khal me 3312 ki jaga minus 3312 le liya. Oh, jim. Minus b hota hai na, to yahaan double minus hai. Hmm. To wo plus hota hai ga. Kyunke b aapka negative hai. To negative, negative, positive ho. Chaji. So v ki two values hai. According to the figure and according to the question, V to ki A ki koi value ho sakti hai. To humne phir un Vs pe time nikal ke dekh liya. Time 1. 
एक टाइम वन अनरियलिस्टिक आया है टोटल टाइम से ही बड़ा आ गया सो वी कैन नॉट एक्सेप्ट दैट टाइम दैट मीन्स वी कैन नॉट एक्सेप्ट दैट वी एज वेल सो द करेक्ट वी इज ट्वेंटी फोर मीटर्स पर सेकेंड Okay. Let's start the next question, which is going to be question seventy. Woman walks. A woman walks in a straight line. The woman's velocity t seconds after passing through a fixed point A on the line is v. The graph of v against t consisting of four straight line segments consists of four line segments. Woman is at point B when t is equals to sixty. So, so ये journey को ये दिखाई हुई है of a woman walking. इसको जरा trace करते हैं और समझने की कोशिश करते हैं. यहाँ क्या हो रहा है कि when she starts moving, her speed is one point five. and then her speed increases that means she is accelerating here okay then she is again walking further but her speed begins to decrease that means she is slowing down which means ke yahan pe second part of the journey pe decelerate kar okay phir kya hua hai ki speed zero ho gayi hai at time is equals to 40 the speed becomes zero and then the graph becomes negative why is the graph negative because that means that the velocity is now or the movement is now in the opposite direction v becomes negative that means she starts going back to the original direction so let's say she started at a then she moved in this direction for some time then her speed became zero and then she started to turn back ye ho raha hai question that's why for this part of the journey the graph is above the x axis but for this graph of the this part of the journey the graph is below the x axis because at for the first part if the speed is shown as a positive value then for the next part the speed is shown as a negative value showing a change in direction of movement miss but how do you know she is uh, walking backwards from this negative part of the graph okay so that is what it is meant by negative velocity otherwise speed or velocity is not negative so either 30 or 40 or 50 meters per second negative means the direction since velocity is a vector quantity so the negative value indicates the direction so positive velocity means movement in one direction and negative velocity means movement in the opposite direction so whenever you see a negative graph in the velocity time graph that means this is now moving in the opposite direction it's going back to the way it came from okay now let's reread the question A woman walks in a straight line. The woman's velocity t seconds after passing through a fixed point A on the line is v. The graph of v against t consists of four straight line segments. See diagram. The woman is at point B when time is equals to sixty. Find the woman's acceleration for time is the uh, time when time is between zero to thirty. So we need acceleration here. How do we find acceleration in a velocity time graph? It's the slope, the gradient. So you can do rise over run, or you can also use equations of motion. I'm going to use rise over run, rise over run, rises one point five से लेकर two point one से zero point six units. run is 30 seconds so acceleration is what do we get we get 0.6 
0.6 divided by 30 is 0 0.02. Okay. Next is from 30 to 40. So that's deceleration. So you may use rise over run again. Achha, for the first part, may you could have also done U is 1.5, V is 2.1, time is 30. So what is A? Equation of motion be used or sakti. V is equals to U plus A T. It's the same way. For the next part, we have to find the acceleration again. Okay, this acceleration came out to be 0 0.02. Okay, for the next part again, I'm going to use rise over run, but with the final answer, I'm going to use a negative sign because it's a falling slope. So positive slope is, looks like this, negative slope looks like this. So A is rise over run again which is rise is uh, 2.1, change in y, x is 10. So it's 0 0.21, but with a negative sign because it's a falling line, right? A negative sign with it. So acceleration is negative 0 0.21 meters per second square. This is negative 0 0.21. Okay, part one is done. Part two, find the distance AB. Okay, so distance AB would be first find the area under this graph. That gives you the distance she travels in one direction. So let's say she starts with A, she's going in this direction. And then she stops. So the green part gives you this distance. Then what you'll do is you'll find this lower area. Which gives you the return journey's distance. She starts coming back. So it gives you this distance. Let's say this is B. And then to find the distance between AB. You have to subtract the two distances. So find the green area, find the red area, and subtract them to find the distance from A to B. Okay. So so for the first part, I see a trapezium and I see a triangle. First, let's take the trapezium. Trapezium is uh, this one, half times height times sum of parallel sides. So, uh, these are the two parallel sides. The lengths are 1.5 and the other length is 2.1. And the height is the length that connects the two parallel sides. So, this length, which is 30. So, find this area. And then add the area of the triangle to it, which is half times base, which is 10, and height, which is 2.1. So add these two areas. Uh, half times height of the trapezium times sum of parallel sides plus half times base times height. Okay, and then, so what does this come out to be? It's supposed to be 64.5. So the area of the blue part is, or the distance covered in the blue part plus the other part, both these parts would be 64.5. Okay, now let's find area of the red part, which is half times base times height because it's also a triangle. 40 to 60 is 20 units, and this height is 2.2. Although it says negative 2.2 in the graph, but you're only going to use the magnitude since distance is always positive. It can never be negative. So this would be half times base times height 
which is 22. Okay, now subtract the two distances. So answer for part two would be distance AB is 64.5 minus 22, which is 44.5. Oops, sorry, 42.5, sorry. Find the total distance walked by the walk. So total distance is the green distance that she walked in one direction plus the red distance that she walked in the other direction. So for total distance that she actually walked, you have to add both the areas. The blue area, which was 64.5, the red area in the other direction, which was 22. So this becomes 86.5 meters. Any questions here? So let's do one more before we start the pure paper. Question 17. Sorry, question 18. An elevator is pulled vertically upwards by a cable. The velocity time graph for the motion is shown. Acha, let's, let's just discuss the velocity time graph quickly. So, there is an elevator that's being pulled up. And the velocity time graph shows its motion. Okay, it's going up. So here, the speed is increasing from 0 to 0 0.4, showing acceleration. Here, the speed stays the same, showing that the speed is constant or the acceleration is 0. And here, it's then slowing down. The speed goes from 0.4 to 0, showing deceleration in the third part of the journey. So the elevator is going up, it's first accelerating, then it's traveling at a constant speed, and then it's decelerating and it stops. So there are three parts of the journey while the elevator goes up. Part one says find the distance traveled by elevator. So this is just like O levels, half distance is the area under the graph. So half times height, which is 0 0.4 times Times sum of parallel side, the lower parallel side is 28. The upper parallel side is 19. This is 19, uh, 24 minus 5. Okay, so from here, the distance come, uh, comes out to be <laughs> uh, 9.4 meters. So in the first part, just have to find the distance under the graph. Part two, acceleration during the first stage and deceleration during the third stage. So for acceleration, I'm going to use rise over run since acceleration is the slope. Rise is 0 0.4, run is 5. So 0 0.4 upon 5, and which gives 0 0.08 meters per second square. So this Okay, and the deceleration for the last part would be again rise over run since they're saying deceleration. So you just ignore the negative sign. Agar acceleration puchi hoti to negative sign saath lagate. Okay, so 0 0.4 over 4, which is 0 0.1 meters per second square. Okay, no, it actually asks, acha, and the deceleration. So yes, you have to give a positive answer, 0.1. The mass of the elevator is 800 kg and there's a box of mass 1 kg on the floor of the elevator. This is 1 kg ka mass. Okay, so the total 
downward force on the elevator plus the box should be mg which is the total m is 900 so g is 10 so the total downward weight would be 900 times 10 which is 9000 the mass of the elevator is 800 kg and there is a box of 100 kg on the floor of the elevator find the tension in the cable in each of the three stages of the motion. Okay, so this is the ten tension upwards. So the three stages of the motion, each stage has a dis distant, different acceleration. So stage one, acceleration is 0 0.08. So forward force is T minus backward force is 9000 equals m which is 900 and a which is 0 0.08 so the first part of the journey gives the tension of 9072 for the second stage the speed is constant meaning acceleration is zero so forward force is just equals to backward force. So T equals 9,000 meters. That's the second stage. For the third stage, acceleration is negative, negative 0 0.1. So forward force minus backward force equals mass times acceleration minus 0.1 which gives t equals 8910 okay part four is left i'm sending you guys a new link now Part four is find the greatest and the least values of magnitude of the force exerted on the box by the floor of the elevator. Okay. Part three. Find the greatest and the least value of the magnitude of the force exerted on the box by the floor of the elevator. Which force are they talking about, by the way? Let me zoom in to show you guys the question. His force ki baat ho Find the greatest and the least value of the magnitude of the force exerted on the box by the floor of the elevator. Floor kisi object pe kaun si uh, force exert karta? Even if you're standing on a floor, there's an upward force exer being exerted on you by the floor, which negates the downward force that is the weight. Which si force is the resultant force? Sorry? Resultant force? No, it's the resultant force. I didn't have any When a mass ho, or uska ek weight ho to usko kaun si force uske weight ke effect ko cancel kar kar rahi hoti ma'am jo floor aapke upar force exert kar usko kya kehte hain uska ek naam hota normal contact and no no ha normal contact force uski baat ho rahi Find the greatest and the least value of the magnitude of the force exerted on the box by the floor of the elevator. So, now, there will be three acceleration in every stage. So, we have to use the acceleration. Now, your forward force is going to be R, the normal contact force. Because now, we are talking about this. In the lift, we are talking about this mass. So, this becomes your forward force. The downward force is going to be uh, the weight of the box only. 
एंड माइनस एम एम क्योंकि बॉक्स के ऊपर आर अप्लाई हो रहा है ना तो बॉक्स के नीचे खाली बॉक्स का वेट अप्लाई हो रहा है सो यू डू नॉट कंसिडर द इंटायर लिफ्ट यू डू नॉट कंसिडर द टेंशन है वो लिफ्ट पे अप्लाई हो रही है हम खाली बॉक्स uh, पे देख रहे okay. so, the downward force on the box is going to be इसका मैथ हंड्रेड के जी था तो ये थाउजेंड न्यूटन हो जाएगी अपवर्ड फोर्स हो गई आर थ्री स्टेजेस की अपनी अपनी एक्सेलरेशन है इसको अप्लाई करते हैं और थ्री वैल्यूज ऑफ आर आएंगी बट हमने ग्रेटेस्ट और स्मॉलेस्ट ही बतानी है तो एक की हमें जरूरत नहीं होगी बट लेट्स जस्ट लूज ऑल ऑफ दैम सो इन द फर्स्ट केस एक्सेलरेशन वॉज वॉट वॉज क्या आई थी एक्सेलरेशन की वैल्यू पॉइंट जीरो एट सो फॉरवर्ड माइनस बैकवर्ड इक्वल्स एम मैस ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट ओनली टाइम्स एक्सेलरेशन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट विच गिवस आर इक्वल वन डबल जीरो एट न्यूटन्स For state two, acceleration was zero. R minus thousand equals mass times acceleration zero. So R is just thousand. For the third stage, the acceleration was negative, negative zero point one. So forward. Minus backward equals mass times acceleration, which gives R equals nine ninety. So this is the minimum value of R. That's the maximum value of R. Max R minimum R. कोई क्वेश्चन है इधर दिस इज द एंटायर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट आई वॉज होपिंग वील बी डन विद दिस वर्कशीट टूडे बट लुक्स लाइक वील हैव टू स्पेंड वन मोर डे ऑन इट टूमोरो